Darren, we knew it was going to be a tough game today, but how proud of the hard work were you today? Yeah, the boys gave everything today. That's all you can ever ask for, uh, coming in and just taking the game for today. All we asked from, from the start was to give their all, and they, they actually did that. Yeah, we found ourselves one down and then two, then three, but we didn't stop battling, did we? And we actually got a little little goal at the end from the penalty spot. <laughs> yeah, um, and then after that, Dom's closed the keeper down and you're just praying that he just goes in and made it interesting. It would have been an interesting last few minutes if it had gone in, but I thought they deserved the goal because this is a tough place to go, probably one of the toughest places in the league. So for the boys to, you know, with a one-day notice really to get themselves going, and they did it, um, I know the staff... I find it tough because we weren't sure what was happening uh, but then everyone rooted together and um, the lads gave their all. Yeah, it's been a, a different sort of 48 hours. We knew it was an experimental 11 today. Can you sort of describe the preparation going into this game? Well, obviously the news was a shock because um, with Matty and Simon Davison, it was, you know, they were in and we thought they were going to be here for a while. Um, but it's football and anyone who's been in the game understands these things happen. Uh, it's unfortunate. But we have to just come in and try and do the best that we can and then we need to try and get the players to do the best that they can. So that's what they did and that's what we tried to do as well. Yeah, lots of faces out there who haven't maybe seen much league action this season, but they all did themselves proud, didn't they? Everyone worked very hard. Yeah, they did. And I mean, if you talk about the fans as well being here, it's like an extra man for them. Uh, they sang and, you know, they, they got behind the boys. So we're, we're thankful for that and we'll just see what happens for the next game. I don't think we've seen a, well, maybe heard a louder, cruelly away support for quite some time. It was really, really impressive, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's why the boys kept going straight to the, from the first minute to the last. You know, Stevenage are a tough, they're a tough team, uh, physical, and you can't knock what they do. They're good at what they do, and you've got to, you've got to be up for it. You've got to battle with them. And then I felt we did that a lot at times, especially in the second half, and then we played our stuff. And that's just how football is. You've got to earn the right to play. And I think me asking them to do certain little things today without being able to prepare them was it shows what bunch uh, of good players that we do have in there. You know, like we said, it's been a, yeah, a tricky time, but for yourself personally, can you sort of sum up Darren Byfield's last 48 hours? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I can't. Um, but you know what, if I'm being honest, anyone that knows me, I'm prepared for anything and my energy never changes. I keep going and keep going and I try to, you know, throw the energy onto the boys as well and, and, and that's all we try to do it's football and these things will happen we don't know what happened happen tomorrow, the day after, but we just keep going until you're told otherwise and that's it Yeah, obviously we saw lots of good stuff towards the end of the game, especially today and we've seen from the club's statement that you'll be in charge at Newport hopefully you can try and get a result out there Yeah, definitely, if we can start as we finished we'll, we'll have a good chance uh, we're going to give our all, we'll be watching Newport you know, I had the help of uh, Watto and Dave, uh, Powderly uh, and John. So we'll, we'll put our heads together again and go for Newport and then see what happens after that. Um, but if the boys give their all, they're going to win more games than they lose. Darren, thank you so much. Harry, thanks for joining us. A, a tough game today, but one we worked very hard in. Yeah, we knew, we knew what was coming. They're second in the league for a reason. They're direct, they're physical, they're good in the air and they're very effective as well and it it felt like it was it was that today like we we played played all right worked hard got in some good positions and created a few good chances but then it was just three pretty much set pieces and balls into the box that we need to do better with that killed us really yeah obviously Darren taking charge today with not much notice did, did that have an effect maybe on those set piece goals we considered the lack of preparation <sighs> yes and no it it did today because it was a bit rushed because no one really knew what was going on. But then also, we've now had three games in a row where it's been the difference has been set pieces. So we know it's something we need to work on. But there, we yeah, we can have a little bit of an excuse that we were rushed into it today. Yeah, going forward, I think we struggled a little bit, not too many chances. But in the final sort of third of the game, the last sort of 30 minutes, we improved and we did create more. And we looked like a side who could score a few goals. Yeah, definitely. I think. As the game goes on, and oh, and almost when the game's beyond us, like I feel like everyone relaxes a little bit more and and doesn't worry about making that mistake up the pitch. And it seemed, yeah. So the last third of the game, we did seem to create a bit more, um, which led to the penalty. Which, yeah. Yeah, and defensively, obviously we know they're a side who can score goals, but apart from the set pieces, there are a lot of good in interceptions in there, a lot of good tackles, and we did defend well for parts of the game, didn't we? Yeah. Again, we limited them quite like reasonably well. 
um, we covered each other well because we're not always going to win the headers because there's some big lads up top especially and they every, every free kick they just sling it into the box so we knew we were up against it um, but yeah we, we defended okay but obviously we've conceded three goals so it's not not great <laughs> From a player's perspective, obviously it's different circumstances today, not too much preparation, lots of news going on. Sort of for yourself, how's the last 48 hours been ahead of this game? What was the preparation like? It's been tough. I think all the boys would say it has been tough. We've we've come into training, what was it, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, and we found out that the gaffer's gone. No one really knows what's going on. Byers didn't really know if what if he was in charge properly, so it has been a little bit of a mess. Um, and so it has been tough for the lads like a lot of us are young lads as well so it's first time we've ever experienced it and even some of the experienced lads they've never seen anything like this um, but I think we we can hold our heads up high because we went out there and we worked, worked really hard so yeah yeah and a really young squad today but a squad that with full of players that look really fired up and sort of with a point to prove yeah definitely I think a lot of these boys like myself included we've been waiting quite patiently for our chance um, and yeah I think uh, we like JB back in the team and he looked a lot sharper tonight he looked like he got over his injury and he's had a few games now um, but yeah I thought the young lads did well Finally that away support I mean it was so loud throughout the whole 90 minutes so much noise and support so much passion there how much as a player did you appreciate that? Oh massively they were brilliant like we've seen everything on Twitter them supporting us and all rallying around to get to the game and um, we could hear them all, all game, it was brilliant. Yeah.